Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, after a couple tough battles, we defeated Alola's Elite Four. Today, we are ready to make our way into this portal and see where it takes us. Okay, let's go ahead and climb up this staircase then and see what our next challenge will be. Doesn't look like there's anyone here. What's going on? The champion's throne is empty, so why don't we go ahead and take a seat? Oh yeah, now you're the Pokemon League champion! Wouldn't it be nice if it was that simple? The truth is, there's one more person you have to battle if you want that title! And of course, that traitor is me! Whoa! One final hurrah for your island challenge. And a special tribute as you and this Pokemon League embark on a new path. Let's have a battle worthy of this moment. Oh my goodness, guys. We're going to go ahead and take on the professor to become the champion. I hope you guys are ready for this because here we go. Rodri versus Professor Kukui. So let's go ahead and take him on. We are challenged by Pokemon Professor Kukui, and he's going to go ahead and open up with his Lickin' Rock. It looks like his Rock Rush also evolved, and he has his six Pokemon ready to go. We're going to go ahead and open up with Sheik, and let's go ahead and see what we can do. This is actually a pretty solid opening for us. Let's hit the Water Shuriken, and let's hope it does a good amount of damage. I am hoping for a couple hits here. If we could hit, you know, four or five times, I would be very happy with that. Oh my goodness! So with that, guys, we've gone ahead and took the Lickin' Rock down in one turn! And with that, we're gonna go ahead and hit our Battle Bond as well. If you guys remember, we have our Ash Greninja ready to go. And it looks like everybody's gonna be bringing the heat here in this battle. This is amazing. I gotta tell you guys, it is so fantastic that we get to battle the Professor. He's been there with us since the beginning of the journey. And it couldn't be any more fitting. I'm actually very, very happy with that. And it's quite the surprise that the professor is the one that's here waiting for you at the end of the Pokemon League. We're going to go ahead and hit our Z-Power then and see what we can do to this Incineroar. I told you guys, our Ash Greninja is ready to pack some punches. And we're definitely going to come out with a bang here. So let's go ahead and go for our Hydro Vortex. And let's do some big damage here to this Incineroar. Oh my goodness, there is no way the Incineroar survives that. And there we have it, guys. Two of the Professor's Pokemon are down. And let's go ahead and see a Magnezone. Now, we should be good. We do have a Nope, which I am very, very confident with. So let's go ahead and start, you know, shaking up the ground a little bit. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here against the Professor. I always told you guys I've been trying to use this Earthquake more and more. So let's go ahead and go for the Earthquake right away. Flash Cannon's actually going to do a good bit of damage, but we should be able to hold out. And I think we're going to be very good taking down this Magnezone. So with that, guys, the Magnezone has Sturdy. Or it survived? Yeah, it has Sturdy. There we go. I'm actually going to go ahead and go for the Stomp then. We need to get that Sturdy off. And I'm pretty sure, there you go, he's going to be full restoring. I, we got to get rid of the Sturdy. So let's go ahead and make sure we put a little damage before so the Sturdy isn't there. And hopefully no crits here. And we are able to KO it. No crits. No crits. Okay, there we go. That is good. We held out. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and go for another Earthquake. We should be able to finish off the Magnezone. And we are doing some work against the Professor's team that is three of the Professor's Pokemon that are down. And Anope is growing levels. I'm sure all of our Pokemon are going to grow a bunch of levels. I told you guys. Ooh, Super Power. I am going to get rid of a move for this. So let's go ahead and get rid of Stomp. I like having Iron Defense. I think it's good to have on our Anope. So with that, guys, we have Super Power now. That is a really, really strong move. And I am definitely happy about that. Let's keep on leveling up, though. It seems like it's a party with the level ups here. Everybody's gaining a level. You get a level, they get a level, a nine tails. Let's go ahead and bring out Rush. Rush should be able to crush this nine tails. We do have the type advantage, 
We just gotta find out what the Ninetales is gonna do against us. And there we go! So it is the Nalolan Ninetales. That's a real good thing. I actually really, really like that the Professor is- Oh my goodness, we hit a crit! Are you serious? Wow! This battle is going really well! Oh my goodness! I was saying, I think it's really, really cool that the Professor uses these different Pokemon from Alola. He really represents the region well, and I wouldn't be, you know, happy without a battle like this. Just just going at it, just amazing Pokemon, and that's definitely how it's gonna be. So let's go ahead and go for the Brick Brick Breakity, Brick 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 Breakity! That did quite a bit. Hopefully we can hold out here. Oh yeah, we're good to go. Let's go for the power up punch then. And let's see if we can power up a tiny little bit. I'm pretty sure it'll still KO the Snorlax. And there we go, guys. Super effective. Very, very cool. I also like the fact that the Professor had the Incineroar, which is just amazing since we have Green Arrow. And then we know how has the Water Starter. So it's just... A little completion there you know you finally realize oh okay so the professor is the one that's been training that Pokemon up Bravey Airy let's go for the discharge ladies and gentlemen we've been doing some serious work against the professor our team really countered his team quite well I gotta tell you guys that our team was really well built to go up against the professor and with that ladies and gentlemen we will have taken down Bravey Airy and we just whooped the professor. Every single person in our team just went off during this battle. We defeated from Pokemon Professor Kakui. I couldn't win even though I went all out. But what a refreshing feeling. Woo! We got 13, 920 for winning. Amazing! It's like I told you before, the strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together in the heat of the moment, when it really counts. And you just proved me right. Congrats, cousin. You're a champion we can all be proud of. I told you, didn't I? Up there on Mount Hokulani. Man, the Pokemon and the trainers in Alola really are the best. I want everyone in the world to know that, too. That's always been my dream. And right here, right now, it finally came true. And it's all thanks to you, Rodri. You and your Greninja. I'm so happy I got to battle you and your team here, right where my dreams came true. And now, Rodri, first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. It's time we record you and your beloved team's achievements for eternity. With that, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have become the first ever champion of Alola. Congratulations, my purple banditos. It looks like we have done it. We have Sheik, our Greninja. Oh, we got our Probominable Adonis hanging out. We got a nope. Just hitting the earthquakes left and right. We got GA shooting off those arrows. And we have Rush, my little puppy that I'll always love. And then we have the Flash, who did a great job there as well. With that, guys, I couldn't be any prouder of the team we have built. It was an amazing journey all the way up to here. And with that, congratulations to you guys as well. We are Alola's first ever champion. And this is something that I couldn't have achieved without you guys. You helped me build this team from the very beginning, and look how far we've come. We really did get better and better as the adventure progressed, and I think it really did show in that battle against the Professor. You've entered the Hall of Fame. Spectacular. Much as the sun shines upon the moon, illuminating it. So have the friends you made during your island challenge illuminated your life. You have grown so much. You really do love your Pokemon with all your heart, don't you, Rodri? Yeah, I really do. Yep, that's precisely why he and his Pokemon were able to combine the strength to emerge victorious. Now we're all going to be aiming for your seat. I hope you're ready for some rivals. 
first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. Let's celebrate so grandly that even the sun and moon themselves will take notice, huh? All right, Rodri, let's bust a U-turn for Mele Mele Island. We're gonna have a big festival in Iki Town. Don't worry, I'll be sure to let Lily know too. I gotta tell you guys, I think it's wonderful that we are back here in Iki Town, where it all began, where we chose our starter, where we really went off on our adventure. And it's amazing to get to see all these different trainers and all the people that we've met throughout this adventure. It's been such an amazing time exploring the Alola region, and I cannot wait to see what else there is going to be in the post game. I will definitely continue on and see what we can find, so I hope you guys are also excited for that. I know there's plenty of adventures to find in post game, and I can't wait to go in search of them with you guys. I'm thinking we're gonna have a really great time, and I can't wait to see what we find. I also really like the fact that everybody's here cheering for us. This is really, really great. Reminds me of Ocarina of Time, if you guys have played through that game. Here he is, the first Pokemon League champion from Alola! This calls for celebration, so let's all get to it! Because of the sages, you meet the sages as you go, and then it seems very similar to that here, that we met all these different Pokemon trainers with all these different Z-Crystals, and their different Z-Moves, and we learn little by little more and more about them throughout our time here in Alola, and it really does remind me a lot of Ocarina of Time in that way. This game has been so wonderful, and I've loved the story. I always love the characters. That's the part that really hits home for me. And this game has definitely done that. Everybody's just so happy, so excited. Check it out. It's all the captains and the kahunas doing their thing. And every one of them is doing their Z move. This is amazing. Oh, look who it is. It's Nanu back there just chilling. He's also here at the party. Even we got, we got a little smile out of him. You know what? He's probably happy to be further away from Po Town, you know, sitting here hanging with us. I definitely want to be over here. And it's awesome to see Officer Nanu here just hanging out with us. Even he came out to cheer us on. Think about it. If you just open up a new Pokemon League, how amazing it would be to become that first ever champion. And we truly have done it here. We've seen the beginning of an amazing Pokemon League, and I can't begin to imagine how much Alola is going to develop in the coming years. Kukui was talking about these different Z Crystals and how strong the trainers are, and I gotta tell you, these Alolan trainers have been very, very tough. And I am so glad that we took on this adventure together. All the tips that you guys gave me helped me out so much going up against these trainers. Rodri, congratulations on becoming a champion! It's amazing, isn't it? All these people are here just to help you celebrate this achievement, Rodri. Everyone looks so happy. The adults, the children, even the Pokemon. It, it hasn't all been easy, but I'm really glad that I came to Alola. Getting to meet you, Rodri. No, it wasn't just meeting you. It was traveling together with you. I'm so glad I got to be a part of that journey. Hey, Rodri. It looks like the party's gonna keep on going strong for some time still. Wouldn't you say? Do you think maybe we could sneak out for a second and visit the Ruins of Conflict? I heard from Kahunahala that the bridge has been fixed. It looks like we're going to be heading to the Ruins, sure. I think Tabu Koku must be waiting. I'm sure it's waiting for you to come to it, Rodri. Now that you finish your island challenge.
We are back at Mahalo Trail. Now, this really takes me back. Back then, I could barely think about anything. I was so desperate. But thinking back on it now, it really was Lunala. I mean, it was Nebby who brought the two of us together, wasn't it, Rodri? Come on, let's go! Watch out, guys. Lily's uh, completing another trial there. Let's give her space. The Ruins of Conflict. The Ruins of Conflict. I still wonder why it is that Tabu Koko helped us that day. Was it because of some connection to Lunala, the legendary Pokemon of the Alola region? Whoa, this looks just like the place we were at with Hapu. Very similar. This reminds me of when Hapu became a Kahuna of Pony Island. My heart is pounding my chest. Is it because of the Sacred Guardian? Is Tapu Koko here with us? Great Tapu Koko. It was because of your help that Cosmog lived and was able to become Lunala. Please allow me to thank you on its behalf. Thank you so very, very much. It's your turn next, Rodri. I want to see you show your appreciation in the way that only a lowless champion could. I know you can do this, Rodri. I'll make sure your team is ready, too. Our team is ready? Ready for what? We reached out and touched the statue. You seem to hear a voice ringing in your head as though it's coming from your Z-ring. It is time. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Tapu Koko. It looks like we're going to be taking on the legendary Tapu Koko, the protector of these islands. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Now, we do have Sheik up in front, so this could hurt a tiny little bit. But I need to make sure that we go for the quick ball in hopes that we can catch it. You guys saw that worked out really well with our Lunala. So let's hope that we can catch Tapu Koko in a similar fashion. Come on, Tapu Koko. This is not going to happen today, is it? That discharge is going to do so much damage. And with that, Sheik has gone down. Now, lucky for us, we do have a nope ready to go. And the nope should be able to cancel out, hopefully, whatever Tapu Koko is going to throw at us. Now, I'm going... I know that the high horsepower earthquake would crush it. We are in a bit of a tough predicament here. We need to just make sure that we catch this Pokemon. Because I'm pretty sure if you KO it, that, this is your only chance. You have to make sure you catch it right now. For a second, I thought we had it there in the quick ball. But it looks like we're going to have to weaken it at least a tiny bit let's go for the superpower i'm thinking hopefully it won't ko it so here we go guys let's see how much damage that's going to do and perfect that actually does not do a lot it lowers our attack and our defense as well so if we can land maybe all five superpowers we should be able to weaken tapu coco down enough we already have it down to half health if i can just get it in the red zone that's when i'll start chucking whatever pokeballs we have and we're just gonna hope it stays in there eventually you know catching it let's go for another one then come on little by little we are getting there tapu coco has been one of those pokemon from the beginning of this adventure that i've really been wanting to catch and use on our team i think it's be really great to use tapu coco it is a fantastic pokemon and let's keep this going one more superpower hopefully this will be the one that takes it into the red zone because we really don't have much else here to do so with that we have it in the red 
we are ready to go. So let's start throwing some Ultra Balls at it. And let's hope for the best here. Now, we do have our Master Ball. But I'm not going to be using it yet. Because I feel like we could definitely... Ooh, okay. Come on. Come on. I feel like we could definitely catch Tapu Koko without it. But, you know, Tapu Koko is still a solid catch. If you really want to secure him, make sure you get him. It's a good place to throw the Master Ball. But let's go ahead keep throwing Ultra Balls. One of these has to stick, right? One of these Ultra Balls has to stick. I didn't realize how hard this Pokemon was going to be to catch. I've actually been watching some of the anime in the Alola region, you know, and it's been pretty good. The Sun and Moon anime. And I saw that Ash was like battling Tapu Koko at the beginning. And I thought it was just amazing. The way they have built this game, the story behind it, the way you get to see all the progress that's going on in these islands leading up to this to the champion battle with the professor to battling tapu koko now it's been blowing my mind how amazing this game has been i think it's really shot up to the top of my list just because any games that have a beautiful story always hit home for me those are the games that always stay with me and i hope that you guys have been enjoying our story and adventure as well we've really created quite the adventure here in alola and i have been just so happy with the way it's been going i thank you guys really just so much for all the support and all the comments that you guys always give me it's amazing and that's why i can't wait to get started on the post game and see what else we can find in this game come on tapu coco how much more do i have to do here my goodness this pokemon just does not want to stay i thought tapu coco Considering we just had a really good battle with the professor, you know, there's a little party going on back on, you know, Iki Town. You think the Tapu Koko would want to join in and, you know, party a little bit? You know, they're down there dancing, doing their thing. I'm sure there's some good food. There's probably a couple Poke Blocks, you know, if you want to head down there. You know, do your thing. Let's throw a Pokeball. Once in a while, something random hits. Doesn't look like it's gonna hit today. Mother fudger, Tapu Koko. What is this guy doing? I expected it to be a tough fight. Uh, not this tough. So let's keep chucking the balls at it. One of these has to hit. We're going to just keep going and going until we catch this guy. Yesterday, I actually had the chance. Now that I'm thinking about it, because we've seen so many beautiful sights here in Alola, I had the chance to go to this really beautiful restaurant with a view that was just the ocean and the ocean was so huge it was just so big so blue that it just like took you back to see so much open ocean at once and i couldn't believe it it was just one of those wonders where you just sit there and stare and you're like this is so beautiful and it truly truly was i'm really thankful that i've had the chance to see that and to spend time here with my family in el salvador for the holidays I'm actually going to be heading back home to Chicago soon. And, you know, it's always sad leaving here. But it's also great to get back there and see my friends. And just, you know, get back to home and settle down. And just kind of relax a little bit. I'm excited to get back there and just continue on with our adventure. And I can't wait. It's going to be an absolute blast. Come on! How many Pokeballs do we have to throw at this guy? We've chucked so many at Tapu Koko. Continuing on, though... I actually put a couple pictures on my Instagram of the view, and it was just gorgeous if you guys want to see it. Oh my goodness, come on! Come on! There was also this really huge cave. I took a picture in front of it. You can't really see the cave quite well in the picture, but if you just, you know, think about it, there's this huge, open, huge cave, and it's like what's holding up the parking lot. It's crazy, and with that, we got Tapu Koko! Awesome, I guess Tapu Koko likes caves. You know, you start talking about caves, you're gonna catch Tapu Koko. Just go ahead and do that yourselves. So with that, guys, we have caught Tapu Koko. It's been a long time coming. Ooh, this looks really cool. We registered Tapu Koko to our Pokedex, and that is one heck of a catch. So with that, we've been doing pretty good with the Pokedex. We've caught a decent amount. Ooh, it confuses its enemies by flying too quickly. Hmm, you know what? It actually reminds me of something. We're gonna go ahead and give this Tapu Koko a really good nickname. I've thought of a great nickname for this Tapu Koko, 
Now, I usually name my electric types after speedsters from The Flash. As you guys know, we have The Flash here, and we're gonna go ahead and call Tapu Koko Wally after Wally West, who is the Kid Flash. So now, we're gonna go ahead and send Wally to a box, but I've been telling you guys, I want to use Wally, so make sure you guys let me know if we should tag him in. A Z-Crystal clattered to the floor at your feet. We obtained a Tapunium Z! Tapu Koko, I know we'll aspire to ever greater heights at your side from now on, Rodri. But I'm so glad we could come here. It had been weighing on my heart. Come on, Rodri, we should get back to the village. If we'd only turn soon, everyone will realize that we slipped away from the festival. What's up, everyone? We didn't just sneak back here or anything. Everyone looks like they're having so much fun that I don't think they even noticed we left. Oh, and the battle royales are about to begin. Oh, there's going to be a battle royale. All right, let's see what we got over here. Oh, my goodness. Check it out. It's our old masked friend. My goodness. We got Hala in this corner. Bro, we got Hapu ready to go. We got Olivia. We got the masked, the masked man with Meowth. Okay, well, I'd watch out if I was at Meowth. That's probably going to hurt a little bit if, you know, they pack some punches onto him. And it's great to see all of our friends here. Everyone seems so happy. <laughs> oh, she's blushing. Check it out. I wonder... Huh. You know, the masked man does look very similar to the professor. But we'll never know. That's one of those mysteries, you know? That's just one of those mysteries of the Alola region. The world may never know. That's how it goes, you know? I suppose maybe the day will come, but not likely. That masked man is hiding his identity very well. And it's just great to see everybody here. Look at this. This actually looks so much like the finale of Ocarina of Time. When all the townspeople are gathered and happy and having a party. Because, you know, you saved the world and you did your thing. And in a way, you know, it feels like that here. Because now we are the champion. And we represent all of these people. Now that we are the champion of Alola, we gotta live up to that. It's a beautiful festival, isn't it? Everyone looks so happy. I hope that you always stay just the way you are now, Rodri. Look how your joy has brought so much light to everyone here. I think even my mother would have smiled and laughed to see this if she could have come. I think my mother's getting a bit better. She even tried to come tonight. I've been trying to help her understand what she did wrong. Gently, of course. But she needed someone to scold her. But in the process, I think I've discovered what I have to do next. What it is that I can do. Rodri, I, I am going to... Wahoo! Look at this! Everybody's so fired up! Woo! We've got the birth of Alola Strong's ever trainer to celebrate after all. And I'm gonna keep training with Lima for a while, and then... I'm gonna be my gramps for real at last. And then... I'm coming for you, Champion Rodri! Rodri! Sorry, I mean, Champion! I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners, too! Come on and show us those partners that were there for so many of your discoveries. New experiences and adventures on your island challenge. <laughs> You're all 
positively glowing. And so Rodri's Island Challenge came to an end. The festival to celebrate the birth of Alola's first champion lasted until late into the night. It was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to meet you all. These times in Alola will always be my most precious memories. The next day. Now I wonder what will happen today! Was that the doorbell? Oh, that's gotta be Kukui! Why don't you let him in, Rodri? Okay, so it looks like the professor is back at our door. We're back home! Back into the routine of things. And this is great! That's not the professor! Rodri! It's a disaster! A total disaster! What's wrong, Hal? Oh, Auntie! Evening! Sorry! Auntie? I'll explain later, but, but Rodri has to come with me right now! If we don't hurry, the ship's gonna leave! Well, let's go ahead and follow Hal then! You know, Lily, Kanto's a long way away from here. Try not to let the jet lag hit you too hard. Vernette's, well, she said she'd be too sad to watch you go, so she wouldn't even come out with me. I know it's a lot to ask, but forgive her this time, would ya? She did tell me to let you know the loft in the lab is yours to use indefinitely. So you can come back and stay whenever you like, Lily. You didn't tell us! How? I'm sorry. But I've decided. I have to go to Kanto. To help my mother get better, but more than that, to help myself get stronger. Of course I'm sad to leave Alola. But the thought of going to Kanto also fills my heart with excitement. I'm going to become a real trainer and meet all kinds of wonderful Pokemon. I'm going to travel all around Kanto, just like we did here on Alola for your island challenges. And no matter what happens on my journey, I'm going to be okay. Because of the smiles that you shared with me, you and Rodri and everyone here. Thank you all so much. And that's why someday, someday I'll come back to Alola again. But, but, I haven't gotten to say any of the things that I wanted to say to you. So, so, ah, I'm gonna send you a letter. A really, really long one. You better wait. I will, Hal. And please, take this. Rodri, you may look a little worn, but that is because this was my most treasured belonging ones. Then I suppose this is goodbye. With that, guys, it seems like we're saying goodbye to Lily. Alola, we'll see you again soon, someday.
How? I know what it's like when you can't help but cry. But you know, when you're saying goodbye to someone you love, you gotta show them one last smile, yeah? One last smile. Yeah, I, I think I wanna go see my gramps. Yeah, let's all go home. We've got people waiting for us. Our families are waiting for us. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will begin the post game. Thank you so much for watching.